Hi everyone, welcome back to another Volonica video. I am back to do another declutter and this time I am going to be decluttering all of my lip products. Everything like lip glosses and lipsticks and whatever falls in between. This drawer right here holds all of my lip products and there is really not any sort of organization in here. They are really just thrown in here. Um, some lipsticks are kind of organized in like this thing. Not really though. Um, and yeah, it's just a big old mess. on right now are all of these over here are my like regular bullet lipsticks here are sort of like my lip treatments or like tinted lip balms this is kind of like miscellaneous and also um like liquid kind of like liquid some stick just a little random and then here are all of my glosses um let's go ahead let's go through the random Stuff first. I'm going to get rid of the Ciate Hydrating Lip Oil. I just don't need it. I don't know why I own it. I'm going to get rid of the Urban Decay Lip Chemistry. I also just don't need it. I don't use it. I am going to keep both of these Alley Oop Lip Trios. I do want to do a video on Alley Oop products, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I am going to keep my NARS Velvet Lip Glide, and this is in the shade Swing. It's beautiful. I'm going to keep this liquid lipstick from Estee Lauder. It's in the shade Bronze Leaf. I don't use it too often, but it is very beautiful, so I hope to use it more often. I'm going to keep this Land home lip lacquer i think what it's called absolute lacquer in 274 i'm going to get rid of this julep matte lip mousse julep is not sold at ulta anymore and yeah i'm just gonna get rid of it i don't need it this is a bare minerals liquid lipstick in the shade friendship it is also very beautiful going to keep it i love the moussey formula I am going to keep the Stila liquid lip that I bought for my AOC video. Gorgeous. So keeping that. I am going to get rid of this Honest Beauty liquid lip. I don't remember this color looking good on me and I think that the formula was pretty dry so I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm keeping my Rare Beauty liquid lipstick. This is beautiful. I am going to keep the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color and this is in the shade Rouge. Oh no no no. Obsessed. It's in the shade Obsessed. It's really pretty. Ugh. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm getting rid of this. This is from Juice Beauty. I'm getting rid of this. I'm going to keep four of my Nude Sticks lipsticks, and I'm going to get rid of Tay Tay, which I have not opened, so hopefully I can just, you know, give that to someone else. I'm going to keep this Kaja lip product. I recently got it. I'm keeping my PYT lipstick. It's like a gloss and lipstick duo, and I'm keeping that because I would like to do a PYT video soon. And do I get rid of this from the body shop, this lip butter? Um, no, I like that shade. I'm going to keep the body shop lip butter. I am going to be getting rid of the Morphe 2 lip gloss in Shiny Dancer or lip oil. I hate a lip oil. This was not an exception to me hating lip oils. I'm going to get rid of this Julep lip gloss. It's just pretty old. I don't really use it too often. I am going to get rid of this Flesh Beauty lip gloss. I don't know where you can buy flesh anymore and I never wear it. Another Flesh lip gloss that I'm going to get rid of. Do I need all three of these Revlon High Shine lip glosses? This one is a little funky, this like bright orange one. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, that's cute. I'm going to keep this kind of like lighter peachy one. And last, I am actually going to get rid of this one. It just has like a purpley kind of undertone to it. And I don't love purples on my lips too much. I am going to keep the clear 
Revlon Super Lustrous the gloss. I am going to get rid of this Kylie lip gloss. I just don't want any Kylie in my collection. I am keeping this mented lip gloss in the shade Mauve Over. I am going to get rid of this Flower Beauty matte lip in the shade Rosewood. I am keeping all three of my Tower 28 lip glosses. I have this one in Magic, this one in Fire, and then this one in Cashew. I'm going to keep the Super Lustrous the gloss in the shade uh coco crush another julep lip product that i'm going to be getting rid of oh that's a really pretty color i should use that more often this is smith and cold hydra gloss in the shade dusty mauve and it's actually really pretty i'm going to keep it i'm going to get rid of my color pop glosses i just never use these although they are really pretty um but yeah i just don't ever use them and they've not been used before, I don't think. Yeah. Well, look at that. Three lip glosses that have not been used and I will get rid of them. So hopefully they can go to a new home. That one's cute. I'll keep this one in the shade Flying Horses. And then this one, how are these both in Flying Horses? These look so different. This one looks more new. I'm gonna keep this one. This is a Milani lip gloss kind of thing in Tenderness. It's very very pigmented i think i'm gonna get rid of it i don't think that milani sells this lip product anymore keeping my nyx butter gloss and this is in the shade praline i did not like the ColourPop so juicy formula um but it also could have just been this color this is in the color she's here and it was so like milky pink on me it was very ugly this is a mac lipstick in the shade spite and i don't ever wear it it has like kind of a purple mauve like milky color to it i don't think i like it and i don't think i'll end up liking it this is a revlon lip gloss in the shade blissed out and it's super pretty it kind of looks like a liquid version of like nars orgasm so i'm going to keep that i am going to get rid of this era perez mango lip honey in the shade chili I just think that this lip gloss is like a bit old and it kind of smells a little bit funny so I am going to get rid of it but I did like this lip gloss at some point in time. Never ever going to get rid of this MAC Maleficent lip gloss. It's very very old. I cannot remember the last time I put it on my lips but I will never ever get rid of it. This is a Well People lip gloss and I don't really ever wear this lip gloss. So I am going to get rid of this. This is a Lorac lip gloss. I need to like not buy things that are limited edition because I never end up wearing it. Oh, that smells so good though. I think I'm going to part ways with that. I have both of the Miley and MAC Viva Glam glosses and I have the lipsticks and I just will never ever get rid of these. I am such a big Miley fan if you didn't know. And um, and yeah, I'll just never ever 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 get rid of these. I have like a little small Too Faced lip injection that I'll just go ahead and keep. This Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Lip I am going to keep. It's super cute. This is a Nude Sticks Magnetic Lip Plush Paint in the shade Saint Tropez and I am going to keep it. Another cutie. Uh, this is a House Labs Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Venus. I am, I'm going to get rid of it. I never really use it. I do like the lip liner. I am going to keep the Wander Beauty Lip Retreat. I am going to keep the Morphe 2 lip gloss in the shade Grateful. This is pretty cute. Kind of fun. I'm keeping the small little Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in the shade rose jewel i am going to keep this evio beauty lip gloss in the shade brook i'm going to keep this anastasia beverly hills lip gloss in the shade Terra. i am keeping this maybelline lifter gloss in the shade stone i am going to get rid of both of my florence by mills lip glosses neither of these shades really worked for me they looked pretty good like mixed together, but I just don't want to bother with that. I have two by Beauty Lip Glosses that I am going to keep. This is a Thrive Cosmetics Gloss in the shade Ruth that I'm going to keep. This is a Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Secure the Bag. 
and I thought I initially liked this gloss but I don't think I love how it ends up looking on me so I am going to part ways with it. I do like my Lime Crime Wet Cherry glosses. This one is in Bitter Cherry and then this one is Extra Poppin and I do like these. And lastly I have my Kosas Wet Lip Oil Gloss in the shade Jellyfish that I'm going to keep and I have the e.l.f plumping gloss in the shade mocha twist that I am going to keep. That was a pretty good declutter. Now let's move on to the sort of tinted lip balmy formulas we have. This is another Julep lip product and I'm going to get rid of it. This is a ColourPop Just a Tint lip product and these uh this color was pretty but these are like kind of end up smelling gross on my lips so i'm going to get rid of it i don't like that keeping my two lano lip lip balms because that's just a really nice formula my sarah hap lip slip i am going to keep i'm also going to keep my laneige pear lip glowy balm and my Mario Badescu Rose Lip Balm. I'm keeping my Kosas Sport in the shade Pulse. Looks like that. It's like a little colored lip balm. And I'm going to keep it. I am also going to keep my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Winky Lux. Why do I have this? Why do I own this? What is it looking like? That's pretty cute. It's going to change a little bit of color. I don't... I think I want it though. Maybe I do want it. I think this might be a cute product to throw in my bag, so I'm glad I rediscovered it. I have two of the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balms. I have this one in Green Dragon, and then I have this one in the shade Nug. I'm going to keep Nug, but I'm going to get rid of Green Dragon. This is a Physicians Formula Organic Wear Tinted Lip Treatment in the shade tawny nude what does tawny nude look like um i'm going to get rid of it if i'm not wearing it right now i'm not going to wear it in the future this is a physician's formula butter lipstick in the shade mauve into brazil and it's so pretty i always forget that i have this but it's so pretty i should definitely use it this is a billy lip balm I don't use either of my Billy lip balms. I think one's in my like top drawer and I really just don't ever use it. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one and probably the one in my top drawer. I actually grabbed the lip products that were in my like little top drawer thing. Um, I have two more Kosas wet lip oils and I'm going to keep both of them. This is in, this one is Malibu and then this one is in Dip. I thought I would find my other Dior lip glow. This one is in the shade Berry. And I don't know. I never wear it. I got another one in the shade Rosewood that I would keep, but I don't know where it is right now. But I'm going to get rid of my Lip Glow and Berry. It's just very extra old and I never wear it. This is a Kiehl's Butter Stick Lip Treatment. And hmm, this is in the shade Naturally Nude. And it's really, really cute. It's kind of like a really cute color. Do I keep it? SPF 30. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it for now. This is my Fenty Beauty lip gloss, like the universal one, the original one. I don't gloss bomb. I am going to be getting rid of this because it leaks on me and ugh, it's just annoying. I love the lip gloss, but it leaks on me. So I'm going to get rid of it. I am going to keep both of my Undone Beauty light on lips i have one in chai town and one in gosh garnet and i'm keeping both of them i am keeping my rare beauty dewy lip balm in the shade thankful yes getting rid of my other billy lip balm just don't need it i am going to keep my ink credible jammy lips these are so good like so cute I am going to get rid of this Burt's Bees matte lipstick. This is just very old and I swatched it like a little bit ago and it was very dry. I am keeping my Sugar Rush by Tarte Fresh Pressed Lip Gloss. Oh, that lip gloss smells so freaking good. My mouth is watering. These are two Paracone lip balms and they're very cute they expire next may they have an expiration date 
on them, which is kind of cool. I am going to keep one of them. I'm going to keep this one. This one's more of like a nudie like pink and this one's more of like a bubblegum pink and I'm gonna get rid of the bubblegum pink one. This is a Capari lip glossy and I am, I'm going to get rid of it. I never use it. I just don't need it. Insafree, my lip balm in dried rose tea. I also never ever use this product. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a Philosophy Miracle worker fix and it's a lip serum stick i don't use it this is a lancome oh when you work at like ulta or sephora or something they will green dot it and sometimes they like dot over important information like what this might be called but this is kind of like a tinted lip balm situation and it's in the shade light it up and it is really pretty so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep it this is a lancome matte shaker and i don't i bought these because of alana davidson i feel i would still really like it i just need to remember to use it because like Look at that color. Get a load of that. This is in completely nut, and I don't think that they make this color anymore. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for right now. I'm sorry, why have I not ever opened this one? In Sparkling Honey? These last few products are the Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipsticks, and I actually did a sponsored video for them on these lipsticks a while ago, and I love them but I don't think I'm gonna keep all the colors. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's going on top shelf. That's gorgeous. So this is in Sparkling Honey. I didn't know I owned this one. I'm going to keep this one. I'm, going, I'm actually gonna put that one aside because I wanna put that on my lips like very soon. This one is in Nude Illuminator, which I totally loved. So I'm keeping her for sure. This is in Beaming Strawberry. Um, a bit too light. I'm going to get rid of that one. This was in Glossed Up Rose, which was pretty cute. Yes, keeping. This one is in Glaring Coral, which I actually ended up liking, surprisingly. Um, this is in Shine Stealer. I actually think I might have gotten rid of the ones that I didn't like anyway, so probably not getting rid well, maybe this one. No, that one's kind of cute. This one is in Fire and Ice. So I'm going to keep all those. The only one that I was getting rid of is the Beaming Strawberry one. All right. <clears throat> Last section to go through are my regular lipsticks. I am going to get rid of this Believe Beauty lipstick. I have not touched this since February. Getting rid of this Era Perez lipstick, it kind of just like melted as soon as I put it on my hand, so I'm getting rid of that. These Lime Crime lipsticks are very old. This one is in the shade Bomber. This one is in the shade Lace Up. And then this one is in the shade Choker. And they're just very old. Like I've had them for a very long time. Some of the packaging is a little bit broken. They're very cute, um, but I'm going to get rid of them. It's just time for me to get rid of them. This is a KKW Beauty lipstick in the shade five, nude five. And it's gorgeous. It really is so beautiful, but I am not going to be keeping anything from KKW or Kylie. And I'm obviously not gonna be talking about it at all on my channel, so there's really no point in me having this lipstick anymore. I was gifted these beautiful Chantakai lipsticks. They have like this beautiful glitter on them. It's so pretty. I am keeping all of them for now at least. This is a very fancy $90 lipstick that my siblings got me one year for the holidays and I will not ever get rid of it. I am keeping my Kat Von D OG Lolita lipstick. I have three Kosas lipsticks. I don't think I'm going to keep the Rosewater shade. It just is a bit too like red pink for me. So I'm getting rid of that. This is the shade Vegas. Um, it looks like a pale nude on me. What does Undone look like? 
That one's pretty. I'm going to keep Vegas and Undone from Kosas. Actually, no. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of both of these. I just don't think any of these colors work that well for me, so I'm going to be getting rid of all three of them. I have this Milk Makeup Lipstick in the shade Juices. That's pretty. I never wear it though, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep this Marc Jacobs Lipstick in the shade J'adore. Emrata used it one time in a Vogue video and I bought it and I'll never get rid of it. I have two Oma Beauty lipsticks. This one is in the shade Angela and then I have one in the shade Maya. I think I'm going to keep both of these. These are like not really colors that I would typically use but I remember these looking a lot different on my lips and I remember liking how they looked. I am going to keep my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I am going to keep my Clinique lipstick in the shade 10 Delicate. Yet, oh my gosh, I need to move this to my top shelf. That's gorgeous. This is a Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Aftermath. And I think this was a Desi and Katie collab color. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't, I never use it. This is a Chantecaille Lip Veil. Yeah, this color isn't doing it for me. I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the Maleficent lipstick that I would never get rid of, so I'm not getting rid of that. And these are my two Miley Viva Glam lipsticks that I also will never, ever, ever be getting rid of. I have a couple of lipsticks from NARS that, you know, some of them could actually be decluttered. This one is in the shade Afghan Red. This was a gift from my high school boyfriend. I can't see myself wearing that color anymore. I used to like shades like that. Oh my gosh, this is Dolce Vita and it got ran through the washing machine. So she's a little, she's been through it, but I'm gonna keep it. This lipstick is in Scarlet Express and this was another gift from my high school boyfriend. And it's just another color that I just like wouldn't wear anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then this one is in the shade Pigal. And this is gorgeous, I think. Yes. Oh my gosh. I need to wear these. I need to wear these more often. Okay. So yes, getting rid of two NARS lipsticks and keeping the two other shades. I should go through these Juvia's Place lipsticks. What I really should do is watch my swatch video of these because there are definitely colors that like I would not be wearing. In Vogue was one of the colors that I will not be ever wearing, so I'm going to get rid of In Vogue. Um, Libra. Libra was a color I liked. Chic was a color I did not like. I liked Toffee. Toffee was a good color. Um, hashtag 2020. I don't think I liked hashtag 2020. I think I liked the shade me. Yes, I probably liked the shade me. So I'm keeping that one. And what is this one? Kebby? Mm, I don't think I would have liked the shade Kebby. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That sounds good. This is a flesh lipstick that, ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness, that color. Hungry, that color is so pretty. I shouldn't keep it. I just shouldn't keep it. There's no reason for me to have that. This is another Well People lip product. That was the shade Let It Go. I don't like that shade very much. I'm going to get rid of that. This is another Revlon Super Luscious Glass Shine Lipstick, but this is the clear one in the shade Sparkling Quartz, and I am going to keep it. And I don't think I'm going to keep that. That's like a color I really wouldn't wear. I used to love this Too Faced lipstick in the shade Pout About It. Ooh, that looks like it changed color. I'm getting rid of that. That is not how I remember that lipstick looking. This is a very dry Paracone lipstick that I'm going to get rid of. This is a Juice Beauty lipstick. How's that looking? That looks like it might. 
We'll keep that. That looks cute. This is a ColourPop lipstick in the shade Layover, and I think I liked this color. Yeah. Yeah, I can see myself liking that. I'm keeping these two e.l.f. lipsticks. Um, just, I think they're important to have in my collection for reference. I am keeping this Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Mochalicious. It's kind of dark, but I think it's pretty. I have a bunch of these Revlon lipsticks, and I really do not need to keep all of them. And... There are a lot of colors that I just could not ever, ever see myself wearing. So let's go through these. Yeah, I would simply would never wear a pink like this. So I'm getting rid of that. That's Candy Attic. This one is insane. I've never even swatched this one. Do I bother? No. I'm going to get rid of that one. Hopefully that can go to a new home because I've never swatched it before. This is Untold Stories, and unfortunately, this color, you know, here looks like it would be perfect, but in the actual tube, it's so light, so I'm getting rid of that. Heartbreaker, literally so bright pink, I don't need it. This is in the shade Wild Thoughts. That's cute. It's just too pink. Getting rid of it on fire ew what is going on with that no i'm getting rid of that this is in the shade moonlight it's like gray what i know i don't need that getting rid of it there's a blue one in here too that i'm going to get rid of like I just, I mean, I get it. Some people might like it, but not me. This is just fire and ice. The other one was on fire. That's actually, I'm going to keep that one. That's kind of cool. That one. It's like a fluorescent red. This is in the shade Black Cherry, like a deep berry. I feel I should keep that. Hot Chocolate, cool brown lipstick. And this one is in the shade Obsessed. That's pretty. Oh my God keeping that. My MAC lipsticks always seem to get a pass on like all my declutters. So let's just see what I end up getting rid of. Probably nothing. This is the, this is the MAC lipstick in the shade Myrrh. And my brother got this for me for the holidays one year. So I am not getting rid of this. This is in the lipstick Twig shade twig this was a prom wear for me jesus this is the lipstick age sex location you know what i'm gonna get rid of that i don't need that color hey bean this is in the shade amors i don't know this was a gift for my 16th birthday, I think. So I'm going to keep that. Hi, girls. This is the metallic shade in the shade Jupiter. I don't remember this. I don't remember that. Should I keep it? That's kind of cute. I'm going to keep that. Looks fun. This is in the shade Taupe, which is like one of my favorite MAC lipsticks, so definitely keeping. This is the MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl, which I actually think, no, I'm going to keep it. See, Mac, the MAC lipsticks always make it through for me. This is the shade Touch. Ooh, that's pretty. Why don't I wear that? Don't know. And this is lastly in the shade Ruby Woo, just a classic red. Everyone should own that, you know? Oh, the girls are so cute. I'm keeping this Kaja lipstick because I recently got it. And let's see, I'm probably going to keep all three of these Anastasia lipsticks. This is in the shade Kiss. That's cute, keeping it. Spice keeping for sure yes we love that and this is in the shade honey 
this is like one of the what this is one of the few very true nude shades that I can definitely get away with wearing. I have these four Lancome lipstick. I'm going to swatch them. Probably end up keeping all of them. I think these all came in a set of like nudes and I think they all looked pretty good on me. I actually don't like that one. What is this? Lucky Kiss. I'm gonna get rid of that. Is that mold? That is fucking mold for sure. Blech. Okay, getting rid of that. Kind of sucks though. I think that might have been my favorite one. Should I get rid of these? Do these have mold? These don't look like they have mold. Look at the girls. You girls are so cute. Hey, sweet girls. Did I get some lipstick on you, Bean? Sorry, girl. I am keeping both of these other Lancome lipsticks. So keeping both of these. And then I have two Smith & Colt lip products. This one is in the shade Supreme Rose. Oh, oh my God, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then this one is a red, which is like kind of intense, but oh my, oh my God. These are so pretty. So this is the pile of lipsticks that I'm keeping, and this is the pile of lipsticks that I am getting rid of. I don't think that's too bad, a little bit less than half, I'd say. I'm going to go ahead and reorganize all the lip products that I am going to be keeping, and I will show you guys what the drawer looks like at the end. So this is my new lip drawer. I am so happy with it. It looks really good. I feel I know exactly where everything is. I know exactly what I have. It just feels really good. I'm so glad that I was able to declutter as much as I did and that my drawer can look like this and it can look organized again. This whole thing and like this little part are the only things that are kind of like, ugh. This is probably the worst of it though. These are just like random liquid lipsticks that don't have a place. They're a little bit too long to fit in these containers, but it is what it is. Um, everything else looks so good though and I'm really happy with it. That is going to be it for today's declutter though. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Vlonica and another little decluttering. There's like a few more things in my collection that I could declutter, like my single eyeshadows and stuff, which I probably will do maybe like in a few weeks. So definitely if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you are subscribed so you can get notified whenever I post another declutter. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.